Lisa Matassa's first entry into the music business came in the dance genre, where she recorded two top 10 dance singles before she was 20 years old. However, she eventually realized that country music was her calling, and she gave herself to it heart and soul. Her new EP, Somebody's Baby, was released earlier this month and includes a few of her own songs plus a few popular covers. We had a chance to check in with Lisa to hear all about that new music. We are in the studio today with my guest, Lisa Matassa from Long Island, New York. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's so good to see you. Now, I have to ask, New York, Long Island, Sandy, is everything okay at home with your family and friends? Yes, everyone, thank God, is fine. And, I, you know, I really think that nobody got away unscathed from this particular storm. But uh, thankfully, our structure for home was fine, some property damage. But we're going to get together. Everyone is just going to band together and make it make it better you know that's what we do us New Yorkers you know in, in times of trouble like this but everyone is is really well thank you and today you're down in Nashville how exciting it new is. album somebody's baby yeah. what a great song well, thanks. Uh, talk a little bit about that because not only has the song gotten huge attention yeah. but the video thanks. on YouTube yeah. wow like over a million hits it's, it's been amazing it's just an incredible experience for me uh, wanting to always become a country music artist and then live the dream right now and and there are so many people on Long Island that love country music and and sometimes I feel like with New Yorkers you know we're always on top of things but they it took a while for them to warm up to country music but now it's full-blown you know you have eight million people from end to end on Long Island and and I'm really glad that they're accepting the song and relating to it because that's what country music is about really just invoking that emotion from your listener so when you have a song like somebody's baby they can sit and listen to it and say wow I know exactly what she's talking about so it's exciting country lyrics that's they just it. do that for people that's that's what we're all about that's right so but your background you had dance songs you had two big hits and your executive producer tell us about that because yeah. you have quite a name there well, I, I've been singing since I was eight years old I, I should let you know that I also was um, classically trained as an opera singer down in South Florida because I was raised in South Florida and when I moved back to New York uh, I was a teenager going on 16 and and I couldn't sing country music because there were no outlets at all for it so we I changed my style of singing and started listening to different bands like hard or journey and some rock bands and and uh, I, I've known Tony Bruno for quite a long time and he's always been a a really great musician on the Long Island, New York circuit. So it was exciting to be working with him as well. It's over your head. I was 19 years old and I was offered a record deal and so when you're 19 and someone says would you like to make a record you say thank you <laughs> and you do it so even though it wasn't the music I wanted to sing at least I knew that I was gonna have a record deal and, and go into the studio and record is what I always wanted to do so I changed my name to Lisa Lynn in homage to Loretta thinking right. that okay if I couldn't sing country I was at least gonna sound like a country music artist you sound and like me with the Kelly Lynn <laughs> it's all for yeah exactly so I did it and it was a great fun and um, my two dance songs did very well in, in New York and overseas and one was called I've Got the Hots for You and the other one was called Rock Me but we um, had an opportunity to work with artists like Taylor Dane and Brenda K. Starr but I think in my heart the timing wasn't right then for me to be a recording artist because in my heart it was always country so when that ended and the music changed and it got into grunge rock and roll at that point disco or that freestyle dance music so to speak uh, had ended and then you had bands like Stone Temple Pilots and Pearl Jam come into the picture so it was almost like okay this wasn't right the timing's not right and maybe the time will come when I can go out and pursue that career as a country music artist and, and the time is now time is now <laughs> and it's working I mean what a great video Thanks. for people that haven't seen it they can go on YouTube yes. and it's there and then and you used actual Clip. Real life clips? Yeah, there's a lot of footage in there of my own personal life. My wedding footage is in there a little bit, and my children are in there from their christening. And it was so close to home for me to film that that video and it was so exciting and I'm really proud of it because there's sides of me that some people just don't necessarily see or get a chance to see. And that's the great thing about country music. It's real life. It's about real life. Absolutely, absolutely, and we live it every day. And th and this song is about that. Yeah. Um, it, talking about it's somebody's child. It's it's, it's true. It's. I mean, I don't know about you, but my mom calls me six times a day, <laughs> so I know she still considers me to be her baby. 
And uh, my kids, no matter how old they're going to be, I'm going to always consider them to be my baby. And also, even if you don't think about it as a child or your loved one, you can look at that song as, what is your baby? Well, my dog is my baby, and my, uh, you know, 69 Camaro is my baby. The thing that will always <laughs> be. Like that. Yeah, and that's what drew you to that song, obviously. Yeah, but I think what really drew it to me when Kelly Archer presented it to me for consideration were, were the lyrics in the first verse. And I need to find that connection when I'm singing a song, whether it's my own song or somebody else's songs. I, I need to feel part of it and that I've experienced it at one point or another in my life. You know, you can't fake that. You have no. to, you have to feel it. When he tells you that he loves you And how it makes you feel Like you're somebody's baby You're somebody's favorite song to sing You're somebody's whole wide world Somebody's everything Now on this album, too, you get a video. You do. You absolutely get a video as well on this of somebody's baby and uh, also put on there the Christmas song because Christmas is coming up and my favorite all-time holiday song is on there. And what is that? Uh, the Christmas song, Chestnuts oh, Roasting on it. an Open Fire. Oh, yeah, My favorite too. My Yay! Favorite. And this, people can get it now out on iTunes yes. and everywhere. iTunes, CD Baby, CD Now on the website as well. Great. It's been a pleasure to Thank meet you. So you. Much. Happy holidays. Miss Lisa Matassa. Although it's been said many times, many times. Now it's time for a weekly songwriter tip brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week we sit down with Debbie Cochran as she talks about working hard as a songwriter. I hate to tell you this, but songwriting does not get easier. The longer you work at it, the harder it actually gets. I was interviewing a writer when I was working for a newspaper and I was aspiring to be a songwriter. He already had a couple of hits and he's the one who told me it doesn't get easier the longer you do it. You get harder to please, you know where the bar is, you know what excellence is required to actually get a song on a record or get on the radio and actually touch people. So be prepared for that. It doesn't get easier, it gets harder. To learn more about NSAI, visit NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show, but don't forget those new Somebody's Baby Discs. We have up for grabs from Lisa Matassa. Enter online only at InsideMusicRow.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page, too, for all the latest news and events going on around town. We're going to leave you today with Lisa and her holiday hit, The Christmas Song. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon. <laughs>